You're listening to Dean Michael here on True Radio, the home of proper good music and proper good interviews on a Sunday. And we're very lucky this Sunday to have one of the original members from Modern Romance, and it's Andy Kiriakou. Hi, Andy. Hi, mate. How you doing? All right? I'm good, thank you. It's lovely to have you on the programme. Lovely to be here. I must say, it's very strange being interviewed by somebody I know as an artist, and then being interviewed, you know, like you being a presenter. Very yeah. Strange. <laughs> I suppose it is, really, yeah, because you usually don't get to meet the people that are interviewing you, do you? <laughs> Well, no, normally you're interviewed by somebody, whether it's on a Zoom call or, or on the phone, and it's just somebody you don't really know. But I know you as an artist, first and foremost, and now all of a sudden I'm being interviewed by you. Very bizarre. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to have you on, as I say. So we go back many, many years, don't we? It's back to the 80s, and uh, yeah. you, st- you were in a band, uh, Modern Romance, which we just played your song, Everybody Salsa, which is a great song. And... Um, what we're going to do, we're going to tell all our listeners how we first met. Okay. We first met back, well, the first time was back in the 80s when we did do the Blackpool show. That's right. Uh, I mean, I've, I was in, I've been in the band from, like, from the first hit, 1981, Everybody Salsa. So anything that happened after that, I was around and I was there for the Blackpool thing. Um, but that was quite a sort of, transient meeting it was very very brief because we never saw each other again but we happened to start seeing each other regularly at in more re- recently is it let's rocks that's just, right that we sat at the same table one day started chatting i mean i knew who you were you knew who, you know, who modern romance was so we started chatting and we became friends from that point it was, it was quite lovely actually we did we did and you know andy we covered one of your songs the best years of our lives on our telstar album uh, the Party Crazy album back in 1987. Well, you, you mentioned this briefly just before we started recording, and I, I said to you then, I had no idea. So I need to hear this. <laughs> I, and no one's even ever said to me, oh, did you know that Black Mace did that? You know, they did this film. It just hasn't come up. It's a complete mystery how I've missed it. Yeah, yeah, it is. This it was on the TV advertised album. We did um it was a Telstar Records and they used to in the eighties they used to TV advertising, didn't they, on the yeah, yeah, yeah. five or six times a day. And it was around Christmas time and you you must have just had the hit then because um we were we were covering quite a lot of the hits. We did a, a few of the hits of the, those days, you know. So uh, but yeah, we have some wonderful times, don't we, at Let's Rock. We're like one big family, aren't we, when we travel around. I mean, it is lovely, and I must, I must say, I, I do love the fact that um, backstage, despite some of the names, you know, let's face it, Tony Hadley, you know, Dick Kershaw, some Level 42, Go West, some fantastic bands from the 80s, there really are, I've yet to see um, any incident where ego comes into it. Everyone's just like, it's just like normal, if you, if you went to their house and had a barbecue, it'd be like that, it would just be the way it is, uh, uh, let's rock, everyone's just normal, Hi, how are you doing? Let's have a chat. And it's just so warm and friendly. It's lovely. Good to be it, part of it. It is, isn't it? It is. And it's wonderful that you get to work with that band as well. They're absolutely brilliant, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's I, I I'm spoiled because I've got my band that I take, obviously, the Modern Romance band. But many times they say to me, Can you come and just bring a couple of members and play with the house band? Or like the, the ones that are coming up now, it's just me with the house band, no, no one from the band at all. And they are fantastic. And I must admit, I've done a rehearsal with them and it literally was, it was five songs. It was walking. We did each song once and I went, that's it, we're going home now. And we just, I just left and the next person came in. It was so easy and they just knew everything. Yeah. Beginning to end, fantastic band. Brian, Brian's a band leader, isn't he, Brian? In, yeah, in, Brian Henry, yeah, yeah. Oh, watch this if I want to say, Brian, you're complete rubbish. Go home, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. So what we're going to do, Andy, we're going to take a little break here. We're going to play a few more songs and then we'll come back to you and we'll talk about... You've got your book as well, so we'll talk about your book as well. (laughs) Andy, thanks for being with us here on the radio. (laughs) 